So let's just uh, see how it goes. Uh, Alright, so it looks like MW1 <coughs> is the server we're going to be going on. I also want to make sure that the stream is good. Let me just check to make sure. All right. So it looks like it's going well. All right. All right. Audio's good. Everything checks out. Oops. Hmm. Oh, it's all right. Oops. All right, there we go. Let's uh, spectate here. All right, the game just started. Perfect timing. Let's see what people get first. Looks like uh, someone placed a missile, tried to ride it. One red's riding a guardian, however. Death coder. And uh, looks like Lars is on a guardian. Destroyed some of the blocks, it looks like, on it. Looks like he's going to collide with this lightning. Looks like this guardian's going to go bye bye and that green along with it. That lightning will unfortunately impact with the piston. Oh my god, but it'll take it with it. Lightning here, it looks like um, Vike is going to collide it with another one, but that lightning will go there unaccounted for. No one's going to guard it, it's going to impact. And so will this one. Green, the green defense is horrible. Looks like Vite is, uh, Vita is trying to, Vitek attempted to disarm, but it looks like it just created a huge hole. Green defense going pretty well, but it looks like a little bit of a breach on their lower left side. Another Guardian headed toward that exact same spot. Looks like the reds are, unlike the greens, are using, uh, well, actually, no, the greens are going below the map too, or below the level, rather. Coprex as a shield buster. But just when is he gonna place it down? Looks like this lightning is unaccounted for. This red uh, bond is nowhere near it. It's not even gonna look to see. Lightning is gonna impact. And it looks like it will disarm this one. But it didn't break through that much. Lightnings don't have that much TNT. So, but meanwhile, Lars is headed toward it. He's getting pretty close. Will Bond be able to stop him? He throws the lightning at him. Lars places the shield buster. He tries to disarm it. And it looks like he placed the lightning in there, and that's game. Green team will win. Horrible defense by Red, to be honest. Now let's head to MW1. <clears throat> Alright. This was a 2v2 earlier, I believe. Shield busters and a lightning as well. Arrow soars right above that shield buster, just misses it, but that arrow hits the top, and all those missiles in the chain react and go by. However, there are two shield busters here, three as a matter of fact, in line that don't seem affected. Apologize for the lag, I'm just not uh, close to. Uh, where the server is, which I believe is in France. Okay, these two shield busters will collide. The question is, will it affect the rest of the green's line? Chica, looks like that shield buster will explode. And, ah, uh, yep, the whole fleet, both sides are going to be destroyed. Yep, there they go. That lightning didn't explode, though. That lightning just stayed put. Five pieces of TNT that didn't explode. Shield Buster. Looks like the green is not doing very good on defense. That Shield Buster is going to collide. It didn't even collide. How did it explode? I guess it was disarmed, maybe? Creates a little bit of a hole. Greens are still hanging in there, though. 
Got a lightning hand heading toward it. These two greens are down here. Not sure what they're doing. I think Bond Barry is trying to troll him, and he succeeded. See, so Bond Barry is really mad at him. Or actually, what? He was the one who trolled him. I'm confused now. All right. The bite is pretty close to the green side. But it looks like he won't make it. Another lightning heading toward the green's left side. But they stop it. Lars breaks all his TNT. So he's fine. And he has a shield buster anyway, so he's going to go right through that shield. He's trying to get up on that glass. He's there. He's mounted on that uh, damaged lightning. What will he do next? And they go for him. Lars is knocked off. Great green defense there, but for some reason they're all on the, they're literally four greens, which is like four-sixths of the team. Over 80% is over here, which leaves the rest undefended. But they all jumped off, and now they're here. They all come disarm this lightning, but there are two lightnings coming here. Professor Creep is here, but he won't be able to stop it. He's not even hes not even caring. And there's one piece of TNT, and it... Oh, it doesn't kill him. I'm assuming it'll do a lot of damage. I don't know what Professor Creep and Bonnie Barry are doing. Ah, what the hell is going on? Green defense doing pretty good, but it looks like a green has managed to breach so much of this place. Drekar places down that tomahawk, and in the meantime, this green, Balberry, looks like, like Lars is going for the 200 IQ play again, destroying all of his TNT except for one piece, but if that one piece does get hit, it's not like it's gonna be the end of the world. I mean, you probably fall off. It looks like the red team has won the game. Not sure how it happened. Assuming it was a breach on their side. Yeah, someone, uh... Someone definitely... Yeah, someone, uh... Trolled or did something. Once again, I apologize for the lag. Game will start in 25. Looks like we already got 10 players in the game. However, there's a 1v1 going on. So. Five seconds. And we got a full 6v6. Vitek is going to try to ride this lightning. And he's getting trolled by Korken. Meanwhile, the Reds have already gotten the head start. But those lightnings will collide. That one, as fast as the lightning is, it doesn't escape it. And most of the lightnings in the center get killed, but it looks like the greens managed to disarm this one down here. Finally, it looks like we have good defense. Lars going to disable this one. Great defense by Red. Looks like here come the Juggernauts. We haven't seen the Juggernauts in quite a while. Cheese Master, Chess Master, excuse me, gets his Juggernaut targeted, but it won't matter. They take shots and miss, but he's going to die because of a chain reaction. It's still the one behind him and the one behind that. But this Juggernaut, as vulnerable as it is, stays unaffected, but collides with that lightning. This lightning will be affected as well. That one looks like got hit by a green. This lightning is coming pretty close. And unfortunately due to the lag, we'll be unable to keep track of live events. 
And it just gets there. Creates a little bit of a hole for the greens to work on. It's the greens have no damage whatsoever. I mean, they do, but it's not even damage. It's just the greens trying to get down. And it looks like that's all about to change. Or not. Drakkar. Disables it, but that is the first hole created. Red's not doing so well. A huge hole down here. Several uh, juggernauts are directed toward this position. And there's only one red to defend it, and even he isn't successful. This one jumps on, but he dies. And it looks like that's going to create... It doesn't, it doesn't explode. It doesn't get triggered. But this one sure will. And there it goes. No reds are there to defend it. And that should be the game. Not quite, but it's close. The reds are lucky that that wasn't a game winner. And that juggernaut's going to take the piston with it. Question is, will it have anything to collide with? I don't think it will. I think the juggernaut... I think that tomahawk will, though. I think this tomahawk... Will collide. Oh, it's going to collide with the redstone block. It's not going to go far enough. But this juggernaut's just going to keep going unless it. Yeah, it's going to keep going. It's unfortunate. Oh, wait. Maybe it'll chain react with the juggernaut? And it doesn't. But the lightning will also go under. So that's a problem since so much glass. So much glass is destroyed. There's no missiles to a collide. But. An option for them, though, is to collide with this Juggernaut. It's sitting here. No red has come down and, arm it, and disarmed it. And even if they tried, they'd probably die of fall damage unless they take steps. But I don't think anyone's going to try. Meanwhile, the greens still have this hole from earlier. Looks like maybe the reds did a bit more. And the reds have also done some damage over here. And it looks like that could be the game. That's the game. So the Reds just didn't watch their lower. And as a result, the Greens were able to take advantage. They just got lazy and focused on offense more, which helped them a bit. I mean, they created a hole here, and they expanded this hole. But in the end, the Greens kept pushing on the same side. Reds didn't focus on defense in that area. They lost. They didn't disarm that uh, other juggernaut as well. But in the end, that didn't matter because... Um, didn't matter. Because that wasn't what the uh, Tomahawk impacted with. Although they could have used it. And they could have won the game with that. But it didn't matter. Actually, it looks like this game has been going on beforehand. People are just joining it now. People are also joining another Missile Wars. Uh, MW1. But this one has more players. I'm always going to try to focus on the one with more players. This one's a 3v3. Looks like there's a huge hole on the green side on the right. Reds, meanwhile, have nothing. All these missiles get destroyed. And that lightning will probably be unaffected. Yeah, these lightnings down here will be unaffected. Two shield busters side by side from the reds. Will that fireball make it? It does. That red doesn't die, but he does eventually. He doesn't die because of the explosion, but he falls into the void. Is this Lars? It is. Lars is destroying TNT. I've seen other people do this before, but in this game, Lars is the only one to do this. Destroys TNT, and then when he gets to the enemy side, he uh, puts it down. But he wasn't able to do it because of a chain explosion, which was really unfortunate. Oh, Death, Death Daughter accidentally. <laughs> I don't know what he did there. Not sure why they're trying to explode that missile. That uh, was kind of a dumb move there. Two arrows pretty much wasted, in my opinion, but... Oh, I could see actually why I did that, but here comes the lightning. It was hit. Nice green defense there. Will that lightning impact with that damaged missile? It will, but it won't explode. It was Lars who originally was on that missile. Here comes the lightning. Let's just will it be disarmed. Oh my god, They're lit it's, it's literally a double missile, I'm going to screenshot that. Actually, this is streamed, so it doesn't matter. How did they do that? Oh my god. 
Will it get there? Oh, okay. They get they got separated somehow. Not sure how that happened. Big explosion over here. It looks like the Reds have taken heavy damage. It was, I think it was an accident. And the Greens have taken even more damage on this hole. It's already to the white glass stage. The Reds have two holes, but... They're not as large. But meanwhile, there's a green sitting over here. It's Death Coder. And he's just a source of missiles. He's gonna camp here. Try to defend and place missiles here so that hopefully they can win the game. And be unnoticed by red defense. This red, it's Vite. Disarms the Juggernaut, but there's a Tomahawk coming and a green behind it. It's, is it? It's Death Coder. And a Tomahawk will make it unnoticed. There just isn't... I don't... I just think there aren't enough reds. There were two over there. Realize that's like two-thirds of the team. That, that, that leaves one defender. Oh, what a shay. That's terrible. Two missiles right next to each other, and I think the reds are screwed, honestly. Although the greens... Yep. Oh, my God. What happened here? Although the greens... Did have that hole in the beginning. Not sure how exactly, but right, let's go to MW1 now. This game is still in progress. Professor Creep. Mr. Coolman. He's got what looks like a damaged tomahawk. Or, uh, no, not damaged. He's, uh, Destroying the TNT, so he's doing Lars Strat basically. Red side is heavily damaged, two gigantic holes, but green side is also kind of damaged. Got one giant hole and another one here, close to winning the game, just three glass blocks away well, on this side at least. And this red's pretty close. Bondi Berry, I think it's gonna win the game. Look how many missiles are here, a large TNT concentration. And he's breaking the glass. So he better place that missile. And they won. Anyway, so. Alright. Some people are going to Missile Wars 2. Yeah, everyone's here now. Alright. Alright, game will start at 30. So Lars, Death Coder, XX Alberto. Wasn't I didn't catch him a couple games ago maybe. But I never saw him in action. Not only four people. Very interesting. There are two people on Missile Wars three and four people it's a two v two on Missile Wars four. So spread out, not sure why. Alright, so it's, it looks like it's going to be a 2v1. And Mr. Coolman joins to make it a 2v2. Alright, so Alberto seems to be the type... Okay, I was going to say he was going to be the camping type, but no. He's going to destroy all his TNT and start. Death Goater. Looks like... Lars... And it looks like XX trying to disarm him. And he does, but Lars is still there. Places the tomahawk, and it's going to stay there. Destroys TNT. And he doesn't die from that explosion. In the meantime, that red who just died is there, Death Coder, to stop that explosion. Great D. Defense. Tomahawk and Shield Buster. Or Tomahawk followed by Shield Buster. That red falls off. Green is still stationed. Lars disarms it. TNT falls. Doesn't explode. Meanwhile, Shield Buster coming. Death Coder is riding it. Will he hop on Lars? Lars accidentally falls, and so does Death Coder. Shield Buster will go through that green shield. Great defense by both sides, actually. No side has been damaged at all yet. And they have. Both, I think, have gotten close. I think green have has gotten close, though, to damaging the red side, and the reds have uh, been damaging green. 
Now it's a 3v2, though. It looks like Lars, Mr. Coolman, and Yoltas Broad should join, but... We're on Missile Wars 2. Missile Wars 1 has more people. I think we're going to go to MW1. We got a 3v4 here. And it looks like the game just started too. Mod Lord. The barrier won't work. The barrier that he's trying to go for won't work. Because it's going to impact with the missile. Not a very good play there. And it impacts and he does nothing. He's running away. And that green just ran directly into the explosion. So the reds got to work on their defense. Okay. Looks like the rove managed to disarm it. Fireball, great shot. I think destroys some of the blocks, but... Not sure where that one was going, but unfortunately does nothing. What the hell? Okay, so some people here are just, you know, not a, uh, you know. Here comes the fireball. Just impacts here. So some people here are just not, uh, well, you know, top notch, I guess. The rove manages to get on the lightning. Throws the barrier down to stop the juggernaut, but will that explosion affect him? And he falls off, so it won't even matter. Explosion goes far, but doesn't affect any other missile, including these two damaged lightnings right here. Huge chain reaction in the middle. Bear manages to glitch on top of that block. Did you see that? Oh, nice shot, though, by Durove. Knocks him off. Looks like that missile won't be a problem. Durove. Only one on the field right now. Oh, he gets tagged. But he's still alive. Ah, he gets hit by a chain reaction, though. Looks like it shreds a bit of green side. Here comes a shield buster. Elite is going to ride it. But in the meantime, flaming. And uh, they all go down. Juggernaut's still alive. Tomahawk from Bear. Uh, that Juggernaut's gonna collide with that shield. Not sure why he threw that fireball and it somehow... Alright, the Juggernaut won't explode. Which is interesting. Ah, nice try though. From Dr. I'm sorry, DeRoe. And his missile gets extremely tagged. There's no surviving for him. But the other greens should be affected as well. And they're not. Noob is still alive. And he gets tagged as well. The shield buster will go down along with a tomahawk, but attacks the other red missile and it's gone. Guardian from Flaming Giant. Fireball. It's just a fireball sitting here. In the middle. Flaming Giant. Nice shot. Hits bear. Now it looks like the galaxy accidentally hits his own missile, ends up on Noob's missile. But they get tagged and they're going to go down. They all will. Comes a juggernaut to the red side, which seems unaccounted for. They don't seem to notice it. And it looks like... Oh my. There is a big fuck up on the red side. Excuse the language, but I had to use it. There is the juggernaut. It'll impact... Question is, will that Guardian make it in time? Probably not to do extra damage. Besides, Guardian doesn't have that much TNT anyway. But the red side gets damaged even more. Oh, Guardian, in fact. Okay, but one piece of TNT won't do much. And another one's just gonna... Yeah, they're just gonna fall. So, not much damage, unfortunately. Meanwhile, another... Gu the Guardian 
or not the Guardian, but another Guardian will collide. It looks like the Greens have something to work with here. That hole down there. Looks like the Reds aren't really paying that much attention. Although they have uh, very skilled players like Durov and uh, uh, Giant. Still, they still miss some missiles headed toward their side. Bear's going to get exploded, but it won't chain react with the other ones. Meanwhile, there's a duel over here. Durov kills new but it looks like there's another missile and it's it, it just it impacts it gets there alberto is here sitting here not sure why it looks like oh my god steb steb raided ah the missile before chain reacts another juggernaut headed toward and you see that's also part of the problem the reds may even get down there but they're either fall before they get disarm it or they'll take fault damage all three of them try. My God. It doesn't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And one makes it. It's Darov. And he disarms some of it. But it does quite a bit. It gets so close to the portal. The greens have to pay. I mean, sorry. The reds have to pay more attention to that area. Meantime, though, we got a shield buster headed toward uh, Noob. Noob is going to avoid it. But Bear should take care of it. But he doesn't. Oh, he does. See, nah, yeah. He takes care of a lot of it. Doesn't do as much damage, damage as the Reds probably would have hoped. I'm retarded. Step raided. On a shield buster. The red team wins. What the hell happened here? We're going to end the stream.